So you're afraid of snakes or spiders, or both. Well, JT is, and a lot of other people are. And some researchers scared some babies to find out why. I'm Koa, the biologist of Koa Nature, and today we are going to explore our fears as we reconnect with nature so that we can be better role models for our adorable little younglings. What's that do for you? Is that scaring you? Are you super scared right now? You don't, you don't seem very scared. That so many of us are born with a predisposition to be afraid of snakes and spiders. That is, it's in our DNA. The mother of this baby has a fear of snakes and spiders, and her child has a good chance of inheriting that fear. How do we know this? Well, there are many studies, but I found an intriguing one that sought to measure the fear factor in babies. And they did this in a much more professional, scientific manner than I was doing with my shabby drawings. So the researchers had babies look at pictures of flowers and spiders individually, comparing the pupil responses of the babies from each witnessing. And then they did the same, comparing the pupil responses after the baby saw snakes and fishes. These babies showed increased pupil dilation after seeing spiders and snakes compared to flowers and fishes, respectively. Pupil dilation indicates a stress response, which is essentially what prepares us for fight or flight. And these babies had never had previous negative experiences with spiders or snakes. That is, they'd never been bitten or experienced a trauma. So for most of these babies, just the sight of a snake or spider caused a significantly different reaction than seeing a flower or a fish. So your fear of these snakes and spiders is likely inherent. It's in your DNA. But you can modify your behavior, just as some of us have learn to be afraid of snakes and spiders after a bad experience. I too have an increased stress response anytime I'm near a snake or spider. My mother has arachnophobia. And so I likely inherited that visceral stress response from her. But I have learned to modify my reactions by knowing how to handle these cool creatures and what species to avoid. And you can too. And just because you fear snakes and spiders, it doesn't make them bad or evil. They are necessary creatures that play important roles in food webs. And that is something to take away from this video and teach our younglings. Fears are natural and okay. But after you learn more about something or someone, those fears, those unnecessary fears can be removed. And it alleviates a lot of unnecessary stress, stress that we don't want. Take it from me, spiders and snakes used to give me the heebie-jeebies and make me very uncomfortable. But then I learned about them, and now I enjoy touching them and being around them. And so share this video with your kids or your parents if you think there is a genetic link between those phobias, those fears of snakes and spiders. Find a tiny person, spread some knowledge, and be nature heroic today. You could watch another video, you could subscribe, you could invest in some Bitcoin stock and constantly have heart attacks. Have a good day. Which one's scarier? I need you to analyze these. And can you get back to me with your pupils dilating? <laughs>